Hello all folks, this is your regular dose of raw news and analysis. Today I'm here to address a topic that's been buzzing around the tabloids and that's the controversial issue surrounding Meghan Markle's alleged plot for the spotlight and fame and the shocking revelation that could potentially shake the very foundation of their claims. Buckle up, because what I'm about to reveal is sure to raise eyebrows and spark heated debates. But stop right there before we disclose all the juicy details, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, believe me. What's coming next is certainly worth waiting for. So recent discussions about the succession bill have shed light on a matter that might just leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the royal lineage. The bill that states for a child to be in the line of succession. They must be born of the body of a royal member's spouse and engine dead by the seed of a person of royal blood. Seems straightforward, right? But here's where things get truly intriguing. If we take a closer look at Meghan Markle's case, a series of inconsistencies and questionable circumstances begin to emerge. Her father, Thomas Markle, has claimed that Meghan underwent a hysterectomy back in 2016, which raises questions of whether she could have been pregnant with Archie, let alone give birth to cast a shadow of doubt over the legitimacy of Archie's royal titles and place in the line of succession. Now let's dive into the timeline of Archie's birth. Reports have highlighted irregularities. The doctors didn't sign the birth announcement and there are conflicting stories about who actually witnessed Meghan giving birth. The lack of concrete evidence and the numerous versions of the birth story raise valid concerns about the authenticity of the entire event. But wait, there's more pictures have circulated showing Meghan's baby bump, changing size and even disappearing altogether in various instances. And let's not forget the film where she's shown squatting with ease while heavily pregnant. A feat that defies medical logic. Any woman who has been through pregnancy can attest to the challenges of mobility, especially in the later stages, yet somehow Meghan defied all odds. The story gets murkier when reports of an alleged birth mother turning up at the Montecito Manor demanding to see Archie's surface. This, combined with the incongruities in the narrative and the lack of verifiable evidence, paints a picture that demands scrutiny. But here's the crux of the matter. The UK rules stipulate that the baby must be carried by Meghan to be in the line of succession. If Meghan was never pregnant, as her father claims, suggests that neither Archie nor his siblings can rightfully claim their place in the royal lineage. My purpose here is not to spread conspiracy theories, but to encourage critical thinking and a thorough examination of the facts. The succession bill and the DNA evidence in question should not be ignored. It's essential that we, as informed citizens, demand transparency and accountability when it comes to matters of such importance. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more Royal News and Analysis.